Gary Balance, Ryan Sidebottom and the weather ensured that Sussex were made to wait for victory in their LV County Championship match against Yorkshire at Headingley Carnegie. Heavy rain meant that play didn't get underway until after lunch, with Yorkshire still needing to bat for a very long time to save the match. They eventually resumed on 27 for 1, still 233 runs behind Sussex, but both Phil Jakes and Adam Lythe looked solid enough in the opening exchanges as the Sussex attack were unable to reap the rewards they gained on the first day of this match, a day which put them well ahead in this contest. The two left-handers played their shots when they could to soon exercise their first day batting frailties when their side were dismissed for just 96. This time there were 60 runs on the board before they lost their second wicket. That was the one of Lythe, who'd made 25 when he fine glanced James Anion to Ben Brown behind the stumps. Sussex then sensed their chance when, three balls later, Andrew Gale edged a half drive off Anion to Ed Joyce. The puzzling aspect of the first day collapse is that Yorkshire have a very talented middle order which is filled with quality stroke makers. The way that Jakes and Johnny Bairstow were now able to play their shots confirmed that. These two ensured at least that their side did post a three-figure total this time around and there would have been hope in the home dressing room that they could go on and make life a lot more difficult for their visitors who dominated the first two days of this contest. Jakes made his way to a 50 in the afternoon. He'd needed 75 deliveries to get there, seven of which he'd struck for boundaries. Alas for him, he then did lose his partner Bairstow for 18 before a big moment in the day as Michael Yardy dropped balance at slip early on in his innings. Yardy partially made up for that by snapping Jakes off the bowling of Steve McGoffin, the Aussie batsman returning to the pavilion with 57 runs to his name. And it was with that wicket the Sussex again pressed home their advantage as they went in search of a three-day win. Azim Rafiq followed very next ball playing on and McGoffin made it 3 and 15 balls when he also snuck one past Liam Plunkett to leave Yorkshire reeling once again on 140 for 7, still 120 runs behind. There was still plenty of time left in the day for Sussex to wrap things up, but they found both balance and side bottom in a stoic mood. Both defended manfully, but also reduced the pressure when they were able to, as they saw out over after over in the evening session, to give themselves hope of saving this match if the forecast rains on Saturday or forthcoming. Sidebottom has produced some fine knocks since returning to Yorkshire. He even had a go at Panasar, sweeping him for six as the partnership for the eighth wicket began to grow into something rather meaningful. This stroke carried that stand past 50, and after 29 overs together, the two eventually added a very valuable 81 runs. The pair were finally parted by Anion, who found the edge of Sidebottom's bat. Chris Jordan completed the catch to send the former England man packing for 48. Balance, though, was able to stay put until the end of the day, which arrived early because of bad light. He finished on a hard-working 46, and that's helped his side to 228 for 8 by the close. They, of course, still have much to do and will go again on the final morning, still requiring another 32 runs just to make Sussex bat a second time.